This public park in the southern Cypriot city of Paphos is decorated with traditional crochet patterns wrapped around pebbles collected on both sides of the buffer zone, partitioning the island. Despina is Greek Cypriot and Fera, Turkish Cypriot. Our uh, cultural things bring us together. We, uh, today I am here and I, am, I feel very happy. And I saw here my friends, she is also very happy with me. This year the coastal town is the European capital of culture. Many events are influenced by the conflict that has been dividing the island since 1974 when Turkish troops invaded the north, prompting Turkish Cypriots to flee to the north and Greek Cypriots to the south. This group is taking part in an art therapy workshop to overcome painful memories of the war. I believe that this, this soldier, it might be a Turkish-speaking, Greek-speaking, or German, or French, or whatever it is, he feels himself very sorry and maybe very guilty and very lonely in the world. But I draw this sun and all the birds all around, around the sky. Nearby is an exhibition called Risky Travels. After a Greek Cypriot sculptor fled his studio in the northeastern town of Famagusta in 1974, a Turkish Cypriot artist found his works and saved them from being destroyed. Four decades later, their artwork is exhibited together. It's there obvious that probably we can live together and there's no thing that divides the people in the, on the island. What divides the island is probably much larger politics than us. Fragile UN-sponsored talks are still underway to try and reunify the island. There are still hopes for a deal, but all the previous rounds have failed. The Cypriots from both sides of the island are still eager to come together to the sound of music. <laughs>